please ensure you have read and understood all the instructions on the screen before undertaking this job. Start by parking the vehicle on flat, level ground with the handbrake applied. Turn the vehicle off and ensure both front and rear wheels are suitably chocked and the vehicle is safely secured before proceeding. What's going on guys, Mitch here from Superior Engineering. Today we're installing one of our brand new 7075 T6 aluminium drag links as GU Patrol, as well as our billet alloy steering dampener brackets. Let's get into it. So we're gonna rip into getting the old stuff off. Because we're doing a new dampener bracket on this one, I'm gonna start with separating the dampener from this bracket. Obviously, being a taper, they can be a little bit difficult to uh, pull out, just like your, your tie rod ends. We'll get into undoing that one first. So we can get it set up ready for the new dampener bracket. So a trick for young players out there, when you're splitting your ball joints, leave your castle nuts on. That way when it pops out, it doesn't fall out and smack you in the head. So now we've got the old drag link out, we're getting our brand new one sitting beside it and we're gonna align them so your tie rod ends are set at the same length. This purely is for the fact that at some point in time, your vehicle has had a wheel on it. Even if your steering wheel is out a little bit, this is just gonna make it aligned so it's nice and easy to install. Then once it's in the vehicle, you can align the steering wheel, get everything set up straight, or yeah, take it over to your wheel liners and get you guys that are doing your wheel alignment to finish up the install, get everything aligned perfectly for you. The engraving's got to face forward, and these two cinch bolts have to face forward, especially down here at your diff end. If it doesn't face forward, this cinch bolt here is going to catch on your panard bolt, and your car's going to lock up in steering and cause all sorts of issues. You have to make sure these face forward, and you don't have any issues of them catching and causing any issues in steering. Alrighty, so drag link is up in place, set where it's gonna be. Now we can start installing our billet alloy dampener brackets. Let's get into this one. So your billet dampener brackets, this main block here is fully threaded, and that is what your four short bolts are gonna do. So they're gonna sandwich this top plate into it in these four positions. And then you're gonna have these two longer bolts, flat washers and nylock nuts and that is gonna secure the tapered section for the dampener to mount into to the bottom. And those longer bolts are gonna go all the way down through this, threaded through the block, and then these nuts are gonna fit on the bottom to hold, clamp it all together on your drag link. So I've just got two bolts up there holding the bracket in place. I'm gonna put some blue Loctite on these um, bolts, fit these in, and then I'm gonna remove those ones, chuck a bit of Loctite on and refit them. That way that bracket's never gonna come out once we torque it all up. So we've got all the bolts installed on the dampener bracket here. Now, as you can see, we've got the two longer bolts holding out of these forwardmost positions. If you're looking to the driver's side of the vehicle, that way we can install our bracket where your dampener actually mounts to with the tapered hole. Now you wanna mount this so the flat side of the bracket is facing to the back of the car. That's why you've got, that's the way the taper runs and it has to be installed to make sure it obviously pulls up tight and your taper pulls through there. Up there like that. Now we can install the flat washers and nylocks to it and get this one positioned. So with your dampener bracket, obviously as there's six bolts, you're not just gonna to wanna to crank up one end and just work your way down. You just wanna step back and forth across the bracket. That way you get super even clamping force around the whole drag link across the full length of the bracket, giving you the best fitment. So now we come to setting the steering damp in the vehicle. So the best way to do that is have your wheels sitting in a neutral position facing direct, directly forward as we've got the vehicle now. And you're gonna measure 
half your distance of travel of your dampener. This dampener I know has got 180 mil of travel, so I need to set it at its neutral position at 90 mil. So that way it's got 90 mil to compress, steering to full lock left, and then 90 mil to extend, steering to full lock right. And that way we're not gonna be bottoming and topping this dampener out through its range of motion. Now way we can get in and set this dampener bracket up to suit. Now what we're gonna do is measure from the center of this pin here to 90 millimeters away. And that's where we know we need to set the dampener bracket as that's at the dead middle of this stroke being 180 mil. So now we can set the bracket up here. We'll tighten this up and then we'll align this. And then obviously we're gonna cycle the steering. Once we get the car over onto the wheel alignment hoist, we're gonna uh, cycle the steering, make sure everything clears before taking it for a drive. So before fully installing your dampener, you're also gonna to wanna to tighten up your pinch bolts on your drag link. Obviously just with gas pressure, the, the dampener's gonna to wanna to open and if this is super loose, the drag link's just gonna rotate as it wants to and it's just not gonna be able to set it up correctly and it's gonna make it really annoying to try and install. So cranking these pinch bolts up, it's gonna make it a lot easier to install for you. So now we've got your dampener bracket on with your dampener installed. Gonna double check that measurement once it's installed as well. Make sure you've got it set correctly. Now it's time to work through, tighten everything up, your cinch bolts, your tire right ends, dampener bracket and everything like that. So you can drive your car down, get a wheel alignment, and this one's all finished up.